Kim Jong-un, the supreme leader of North Korea, owns over a hundred cars, a private jet, and a luxurious seven million dollar yacht. But that's not all. As one of the richest world leaders, he also has about 20 palaces, most of which are hidden in secret locations around the globe. These assets make us wonder just how wealthy the Kim family is, and what other secret possessions they might have. We conducted some research and our findings are astonishing. Join us as we explore the lavish lifestyle of North Korea's ruling elite. Did you know that Kim Jong-un has secret bank accounts worth an estimated $5 billion? This fortune is hidden in more than 200 foreign bank accounts across the globe. In 2013, a joint investigation by South Korea and the United States uncovered $5 billion worth of assets and bank accounts controlled by Kim Jong-un and his family. These accounts were located in countries including Austria, Liechtenstein, Russia, Singapore, China, Switzerland, and Luxembourg. The discovery of these assets raised many questions. How has the Kim family managed to navigate the complex world of international finance to amass such wealth? What are these foreign accounts funding? And how have they managed to evade the strict sanctions imposed on their nation? The investigation revealed the intricate financial dealings of the Kim family, offering a glimpse into their hidden wealth and the methods they use to maintain it. The Kim dynasty has not only survived, but thrived in luxury despite global condemnation, thanks to their immense financial resources. This glimpse into the secretive world of North Korea's elite reveals the financial power that helps them maintain their grip on power. Kim Jong-un's opulent lifestyle is most evident in the palatial residences and luxurious properties he owns within North Korea. These are not just homes. They are symbols of his absolute power and wealth, scattered across the nation like jewels in a crown. Among these opulent residences are around 20 palaces and mansions, each more extravagant than the last. For instance, there is a private island in the Taedong River, a sanctuary of solitude and splendor, and the Grand People's Study House in central Pyongyang, which serves more as a luxurious palace than just a library. The family certainly enjoys their extravagance. One of the most remarkable properties is a fortress-like compound believed to be Kim Jong-un's main residence. It is equipped with its own shooting range, horse stables, and even a racetrack. The palatial grounds are meticulously maintained, and the residence itself is fortified with multiple layers of security. Near the flowing waters of the Taedong River lies another enigmatic jewel in Kim Jong-un's crown of luxury, a private island shrouded in secrecy. This island, rumored to be an oasis of luxury, serves as a personal retreat for the supreme leader. It is said to be a world unto itself brimming with amenities that cater to every luxurious need. The island is believed to be designed as the ultimate escape, a place where Kim Jong-un can retreat from the public eye and immerse himself in extravagance. It is said to boast lavish villas and other high-end facilities, making it the perfect sanctuary for one of the world's most enigmatic leaders. Join us as we delve deeper into the extravagant life of North Korea's ruling elite and uncover more about the hidden wealth and lavish lifestyle of Kim Jong-un and his family. North Korea frequently faces natural disasters that exacerbate its chronic food shortages, leading to widespread food insecurity. Beyond food, the economic crisis manifests in inadequate health care and education systems and a lack of basic infrastructure. The country's economy struggles to meet the needs of its people, resulting in a reliance on international aid and a thriving black market. Despite stringent international sanctions, the regime has developed methods to bypass these restrictions. One key strategy has been using cyber capabilities to steal from financial institutions and cryptocurrency exchanges. These cyber operations have become a critical revenue source, helping to offset losses from sanctions and ensuring a continuous flow of funds into Kim Jong-un's coffers. Additionally, the regime relies on traditional allies, particularly China, to support large-scale projects. These projects are often linked to the regime's efforts to showcase its development achievements. Profits from these ventures are siphoned off by the Kim family, further adding to their considerable wealth. Owning private businesses allows the Kim family to maintain financial autonomy and secure a steady inflow of funds. This diversification of income sources is vital for their financial security, especially under the pressure of international sanctions. I know you want to change your financial life, so find out how you can start making money online today. But it's not easy money as they promise. We have to get our hands dirty. I'm sure if you work hard and you will prosper and achieve success. Do not waste time. Run, because the vacancies are limited and are running out. Just click the link in the first comment posted. See you there.